Let's face it, when it comes to kids, if it tastes yucky, they're just not going to eat it no matter how healthy it might be. So how can you whip up a yummy meal that's good for kids too? Plant-based chef Charity from the Netflix documentary, The Game Changers, has recipes that she claims even kids will love. <laughs> So I'm excited because I know I'm going to love all of your recipes. In a little while, we're going to have some taste testers come out here. I, I, they are harsh. If, if they don't like something, they'll let you know. But I love the way that you cook because you really do. You take something that's a typical American meal, like pasta, mm -hmm. and you make it healthy. Yes, yes. So, so what kinds of things have you brought for us here today? I realize with kids, they eat with their eyes first. So if you're making it a bright color and you call it something that they're familiar with, like superhero pasta or a dino pasta, they're going to be like, okay, I'm excited. So, so we'll use this example. Because yeah. you, you made this green and call it what? This is our dino pasta. Okay. And the green color is from kale and spinach. And the great thing about this, it's still plant-based, so there's no dairy in it, there's no animal products in it, and to get that creamy consistency is from soaked cashews. Can I try it? Absolutely. Okay, and what kind of noodle is that? So this is a gluten-free noodle. I know there's a lot of people that are trying to go the gluten-free vegan route, so I like to give people different options to know what's out there so you're getting more nutrition inside of your pasta as well because it's using quinoa pasta, which is higher in amino acids. Don't go gluten-free just to go gluten-free. Yeah, I but agree. if you have a gluten allergy, celiac disease for sure. But yep. what I what where you had me was when you said quinoa pasta. Yeah. Because what a lot of people don't realize is quinoa, much higher in protein, yes. high in fiber. Absolutely. So I'm not just eating. <laughs> the show is yours, Charity. I'm I am happy. So while he's, uh, we're gonna go to a lunch break. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't have to ask, it is good. It's so tasty and well balanced. And you've got nutritional yeast in here yes. as well. That gives it the cheese-like flavor. And the great thing with nutritional yeast, it still is added nutrients. It has B vitamins and zinc in it. The essential amino acids. It, you have everything in these ingredients. And I could make this. Oh my gosh, yes. Because I love cooking but my skill set is that of a child. All right, what's this one? So I created this for my daughter because my son, who came first, we did that one, and my daughter was like, but I want a princess pasta. So I made her a princess pasta, and it's just using, like literally, just a real small sliver of beet. You can use the juice, or you could just put a, lot, a little tiny roasted piece of beet into it, and that's gonna give it its pink color, which is gonna give it you, again, more nutrition. <laughs> it's lovely. And what I love about using the beets is obviously the nutritional value, but yep. we feed our kids these colored foods all the time. And I'm sorry, but adding in an artificial red number this to make it look red Don't is not it. good. No. So this is such a great way to add color and flavor. Yep. And I use this exact same recipe for adults and make an Alfredo and just put tons of basil and rosemary and thyme in it and you make an Alfredo pasta out of it. So this is across the board. Well, you've got two yums from me so far. And last but not least, I'm intrigued by this because this is a, a, a glass noodle dish. What do you call this? This is our invisible noodles. So kids, you know, they all like to at one point want to go invisible. So we're using invisible noodles. And there's two different kinds. There's a Chinese version, which is made from mung bean. This one is a Korean version, which is made from sweet potato starch. And you use the coconut aminos? Yes. For, it's kind of like soy sauce, yes. but lower in sodium? Yes, and this is good for someone who may have a soy allergy or they want to limit their um, sodium intake. And I actually like this as a flavor more, because it's more rounded, more robust, and it has like a sweet hint to it. All right, so it is now time to put this to the test. We're gonna go to break, the kids are gonna come out. So I've, I do have a prediction though. Okay. I think home runs here. This to me is more of like an adult dish. Yes. But I am absolutely convinced that the kids are gonna have no idea this is healthy. 